This is FHRC Brony Radio Controlling Cars, and this is the final review of the Traxxas TRX4. Geronimo! Alright, let's start the review with a quick overview. The Traxxas TRX4 is a four-wheel drive rock crawler that debuted as a long wheelbase Land Rover Defender back in 2017. The TRX4 was probably supposed to replace the Stampede Base Telluride. This is Traxxas' first rock crawler to have a scale look. The only closest thing to a crawler from Traxxas before the TRX4 was the E-Revo Base Summit. Now with that being said, it's time to start the final review. Yeah! I'm going to start the Celestial chart with styling. I just want to let you guys know that I don't even have the TRX4 Sport body, the G-Wagen, the um, Bronco, the Blazer, none of that stock tracks his bodies that you can get on your local hobby shop or online i just have a forerunner body on it from proline so i'm just gonna go talk about that one and the main reason why i have a proline forerunner body as my body of choice for my trx4 because i literally have a 1995 toyota forerunner same generation and it's also painted blue and that's why i actually painted my 91 forerunner body blue but we're not talking about my 1995 forerunner we're not talking about my daily driver. I'm talking about the TRX4. So anyways, let's begin the Celestial score with styling. And uh, there's nothing really to write home about. I really like the looks of the TRX4, so I guess an easy 23 points. Top speed on the TRX4, pretty darn slow. I mean, it's pretty fast for a rock crawler, but I mean, keep this in mind. This is a rock crawler, like I said. Who's gonna be buying a TRX4 or yellow on any kind of rock crawler to go 70 miles an hour. Unless if you're Kevin Tailbot or Traxxas Underground, nobody will. Nonetheless, on 3S IPO, it can top at 60 miles an hour, or if not faster. So I'll be giving it two points. Seems pretty low, but you know, like I said, it's a rock crawler. Handling is surprisingly outstanding. The purpose of rock crawling is all about planning out your route and figuring out where you're going to put your tires on in order to get over super rough terrain. Basically what I'm trying to say is precision is key when it comes for a crawler and the TRX4 has that executed very well so it gets 24 points. Acceleration is pretty good. Um, it gets up to top speed just fine so it gets easy 20 points. Alright after some calculations the celestial chart is 69 out of 100. It's funny because it's the weird number. LOL, LMAO. <laughs> All right, thank you, Davey504, for that. And also, slap like now and play the bass. Anyways, let's begin the lunar chart with durability. With all attempts of me beating the crap out of this thing, especially on the rocks, this thing stands out so it gets an easy strong 23 points. Quality is your typical Traxxas RC, but this thing is heavy and most of the parts are metal. The TRX4 is also a true body on frame design, so it gets 24 points. Kudos for the extra body on frame. With versatility, features and equipment, there are so many options for the TRX4, but the essentials are still there, such as the remote locking differentials, two speed transmission, but wait, this is gonna be a big one for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this. So buckle up, here we goes. Long wheelbase Land Rover Defender, Chevrolet K5 Blazer, Ford Bronco, Tactical Unit, Mercedes G-Wagen, TRX4 Sport, TRX4 equipped with Trax, TRX6, Mercedes G-Wagen 6x6, and an unassembled kit. Oh my God, this thing screams versatility. Now as far as value, I'm just going to go ahead and give it 15 points. Why such an average score? Why 15? Why not a perfect 25 or whatever? Nothing high. It's just because there's so many options in this thing uh, that I couldn't really put my mind into. The TRX4 is by far, in my opinion, the most versatile rock crawlers you guys can get. I don't know about you you Axel fans and the RC four-wheel drive um, people out there, but I personally think the TRX4 like kind of kills everybody in the crawling world as far as the RC brands go. The TRX4 has like everything you need. 
locking diffs well not really that's, that's just basically an option but the cheapest one you can get is for for the trx4 lineup is the sport and the most expensive one i i, I believe is the g wagon or if not the g wagon 6x6 there's so many options for you that i couldn't really put my mind into and i'm not saying that as a bad thing i consider this thing as a good thing because with options, people can do whatever the hell they can do with the TRX4. You can do whatever you, whatever your mind or whatever your heart, uh, can and your mind would take you. It's all about your imagination. That's what I really love about this hobby is you can really put your imagination and put your heart into this hobby, and create something that you really like. And that's one of the reasons why I bought myself a TRX Force uh, to begin with is I wanted to understand why people actually like rock crawlers. Like at first when I heard about rock crawlers, I was like they're so slow. What's so fun about that if just driving slow? But once I got my hands on a TRX Four or even at least a rock crawler in general, I understand why people actually love to rock crawl. So, like I said. Value it's kind of a mixed bag for me, so I'm just gonna give it 15 points. But you make a decision yourself, you're the one who's gonna be buying this product, so it's really up to you. Which one would you prefer? Do you want to go cheap, get the TRX4 Sport? Do you want to go something a little bit more expensive, buy one of the ones with the license body, like the Ford Bronco, the K5 Blazer, the Defender, or the Mercedes G Wagon? Clearly up to you. So, with that being said, the lunar score is 87 out of 100. Finally, the total for the Traxxas TRX4 is 156 out of 200. It beats out the MXL6 Emax and the Mini E Revo. I really enjoy driving the TRX4 and I'm keeping it, especially with that Proline 91 Toyota 4Runner body that I painted to match my real one. Wonderful job, Traxxas. Might as well get myself an Axial XTX10 to do my comparison. I don't know, but we'll see.